What is going on, nerds and nerdettes? It's your boy, Stevie B, with another mystery box unboxing for you. And this one comes from Silverback Graphics. Yep. Um, Silverback, we all know him. He's been in, you know, he's, he's in the community. He's an active member of the community. And unbeknownst to me before i purchased the box he is also responsible for a lot of the uh the uh rude and obscene stevie b and squatchy graphics that foo has taken credit for <laughs> on a lot of them for popping up on his uh channel during our live streams and stuff you know like this one here so um so I went. I found that out. I, I tried to get a refund, but he he just wasn't having it. <laughs> so we are stuck with it. But he also did. Um, he also did a a little logo for me, which is right here. And I do like the logo. I don't know what do y'all think of it. Um, problem is, is it's kind of oval formatted, and when you try to use it in the circle formatted um profile um pictures and stuff it doesn't quite fit <laughs> so i don't know i um I, i'm gonna figure out a way to use it but um it's a cool logo i dig the logo but uh and i do appreciate the work he went and put into it and we'll figure out a way to use it but uh you saw it here first but anyway well, let's bust into this mystery box. This was $45 shipped. And he had a chance for some pretty decent hits in here. And uh, I'm not sure. I don't remember how many books you get. But that's a thick stack of books. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe get $45 just in, just in sheer uh, volume. <laughs> But uh doesn't feel like a slab in here though. Uh, so oops, I'm moving my uh moving my camera around. I got a comic vantage box in my way here. <laughs> but um so what'd y'all think of the Mystery Man show? Who knew? A little note on the outside. What, you were expecting a gorilla in a fancy hat are you a grand prize winner open this pouch and check for a grand prize voucher oh so let let's uh not cut that let's not cut that off then we'll save that for last all right so there's a pouch here and in it, you'll find whether or not you are a grand prize winner. That's kind of cool. So we'll save that for last. Your boy Stevie B's never won a grand prize in, in any of these. I think as long as I've been doing it, that, you know, the odds, the odds would be by, by sheer uh, volume that I would win one. But I haven't, I haven't won one yet. Got some cool hits. But, um... Welcome to Silverback. But this thing is definitely wrapped up good. Uh. Uh, there we go. Good lord. He spared no expense on tape. <laughs> All right, well, we're out of the Gemini mailer, and now we're into this brown plastic bag here. With... Damn, dude, he used a whole roll of shipping tape on, on this thing. <clears throat> this is a, this is a, this is Comic Ron worthy here almost 
All right, I think we're into some books. All right. But yeah, there's a lot of tape on that. Lots of tape. And then we open it up, we got some books, and then we've got this mystery mailer here. We'll save for last. I don't know if that's like some bigger hit books or what, but we'll just get her started here. See where we're at. Comes with a little note. It says, uh, Oh, nope, it's a box breakdown. Spoilers. No spoilers. Man, he man, he wrote on the outside what that was, too. No spoilers, man. No spoilers. But anyway, I did see I did see what was in the mystery pack. He he put a note on the front and told what it was. So anyway, first up, we've got Wolverine number 80 in the clutches of Cyber. So that's pretty cool. I got to make some room here. I got, there's so much going on with this box that. All right, there we go. <laughs> and then we got the Flash Iron Heights. Must be a one shot. Yeah, a little. Uh, yeah, a little one shot. Well, that's kind of cool. I like the one shots. You know, people people bitch about getting trades and one shots and stuff, but if it's a good story, I ain't mad at it. Something fell out. Oh, uh, yeah, got a nice little uh, silverback graphic sticker there. Fell out in between there. That's cool. All right, next up we've got oh, Dark Horses Aliens number two of six. Pretty cool. Alien stuff is going to start blowing up. Oh, nice. Then we've got Sinestro, number 19. This uh, a coloring book variant. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Man. Oh, and this one's Mylard out of its mind, so to speak, with a fullback. I don't, not, not sure why. X Men Gold number one. I don't think this is a. I could be wrong, but I don't think that's a real valuable book. As a matter of fact, I think I have one of those somewhere, but we'll see. Then we've got Doctor Strange number thirty eight. Masters of Master of the Mystic Arts. It's in really good condition from the late 79. That's cool. And then we've got Amazing Spider-Man 337. Oh, Eric Larson, you can tell by them jacked up feet on Spider-Man. But that's pretty cool. It's in good condition. And then the last loose one we've got is uh, Screen Curse of Carnage, number one. Oh, that's a cool cover. I think that's Art Germ, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. All right, and then we've got this pack that he spoiled for me, but I won't spoil it for you. And here we go. We've got, let's see, I know what they are, so, I didn't, so I'll hold them up in order here. All right, we've got a little run here. We've got Dead Man number one.
And number two. These are cool. Number three. It's awesome. I don't think I have any dead man com dead man comics. So these are a first for me, but I'll keep these. I like these. And number four. So yeah, I mean that's a pretty healthy stack of books. I mean for forty five bucks, if you if you didn't get a big hit, you certainly got your money's worth in volume alone. But those are cool. But the big question is Am I a grand prize winner? So let's find out. Did I win the grand prize? Try to figure out. Oh, there we go. All right. We'll find out. Do, 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 do. Well, I don't know what it means. I'm assuming that that means no. I am not a grand prize winner. I just got a, another sticker. No. I don't know what it says. If you are a grand prize winner, I imagine... Oh, it's a magnet. Maybe it's a magnet. Is that a magnet? No. Yeah, I think it's a little fridge magnet. But I did not win the grand prize. What the hell, man? Much shit as you give me on, on the videos. Those little goofy... Goofy little graphics you make for foo and can't hook a brother up with a grand prize. <laughs> but I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyway, here's my spoiler. So I won't have I only have to run them through the through the um <clears throat> eBay grinder just to see value. Um so here's a breakdown of your box. So they aren't random, they are curated. Um, Scream Curse of Carnage number one. It is Art Germ, yeah, the Art Germ variant. Amazing Spider Man 337, classic Eric Larson Sinister Six cover. All right, cool. And Doctor Strange number 38 is first appearance of Cardinal Spinoza. I have no idea who that is, but. Well, minor key. Oh, the X-Men Gold. Ah, okay. Now we know why that one was in a... Was in a... Uh, was in a... Fullback in a... In Mylar. This is a recalled first print of the issue due to political themes written into the script that were not approved by Marvel. Huh. So a politically incorrect X-Men Gold. Now I wonder if the other one I have is the same. I think I have another one of those somewhere. Maybe not, but <clears throat> anyway, so, huh. Interesting. And Sinistro, number 19, the coloring book variant. And that is Black Manta, Creeper, Dead Man, Demon, Constantine, and Cedar become Yellow Lanterns. Okay. Uh, Aliens 2. Volume 1 of Aliens by Dark Horse. Gained popularity overnight with Marvel's purchasing of the property. Yeah, that's why I said they've been kind of blowing up. Flash, Iron Heights. First appearance of Amulet, or... Amunit Black... Double Down, Murmur, and Girder. Oh, cool. And Wolverine number 80. Huh. First appearance of X-23 in the test tube. Nice. And, uh, and Dead Man Volume 2. Com complete volume. First Dead Man not, Dead Man not drawn or written by Neil Adams. All right, so we got some pretty cool keys in there that I didn't wasn't aware of. I did not know that this was the first appearance of X twenty three in a test tube. <laughs> I don't know what that. 
that translates in the value, but it's kind of a cool one anyway. But all in all, like I said, there's some cool books. I'm trying to see if there's anything in here that I don't like and wouldn't keep for myself. And honestly, no. Uh, not one. This now, I don't think this has ever happened in a mystery box, but there, there's literally um, maybe if I was nitpicking, maybe one book in the entire lot that won't go into my PC. And that's just because I'm, I'm not real into them. But I may hold on to it. Who knows? But, and that would be the Aliens. I mean, I got the, I got the first uh, new, uh, the first Marvel Aliens. But, um... I'll hold on to it probably for a while. So yeah, it'll probably go into my PC, at least for the time being. But so every one of these books is probably going to go into my PC then. And huh, I don't think that's ever happened on a mystery box. So hats off to you, Silverback. That's a fantastic box for 45 bucks. Even before I run them through the eBay grinder, even though I didn't win a grand prize. Um... I have no doubt in my mind I got my $45 worth and then some. But, uh, and plus, even if I didn't, I still really like the books. So that's a, that's a cool bonus. Anytime, anytime I get a mystery box and I can put <clears throat> one to two books in my PC, I, I consider it a win. Even if, even if I don't hit, you know, value really well. But, uh, no doubt in my mind that I hit value on these. But, what do I know? Let's run them through the eBay grinder and find out just exactly how much value we got. So we'll be back in a flash. Alright, we are back and we ran Silverback through the eBay ringer. Not to see what we got, because he told us what we got, but to see what the value is. And, again... Usually I don't run, the main reason I usually run them through the eBay grinder is not so much to see the value, but it's to see what I may have missed in something. And But part of it is to give you a value to see, you know, what you can expect for your money. Because nobody wants to pay, you know, 50 bucks for a mystery box and get $20 worth of books. So you want to at least break even on these, but I did a little better than break even. So... And I got great books. Like I said, they're they're all going in my PC, every one of them. And that's never happened. I usually have some that end up getting A-OK'd or end up in what I call my Land of Misfit Toys box over there. Books that I don't want and nobody else wants either. But anyway, let's start it off with the Dead Man four-piece that he sent me. It's a complete set, so a complete run of Dead Man. And you can buy this set. Last sold on eBay was nine bucks for the set. So that was a little surprising. I thought they'd be a little higher than that. But you can actually buy them now on eBay for about nine bucks. But still, it's a really cool set. And I will definitely, those will definitely go in my PC. And this Scream Perillo variant, <clears throat> um, or Art Germ Perillo, Art Germ variant. Last sold on it was about five bucks, which is actually a little more than I thought it would sell for. I kind of thought that whole thing was kind of fizzled out, but. And I'm going to go back to his notes because I can't remember any of these things, some of this stuff. But, um, oh yeah, the nothing real key about this other than it's just a Sinister Six cover. It's a really cool cover. Anything ASM is good to hold on to. But, and this, you know, this is right between Venom and Carnage, and right in that little area there. So that's pretty cool. But anyway, last sold on it was four bucks. And this Doctor Strange, first appearance of Cardinal Spinoza. Um, last sold on it was ten bucks. So pretty good little hit there. Not bad. And the Sinistro coloring book, which is everybody, um, everybody becomes a yellow lantern. I like 
okay but um uh, the last sold on it was about four bucks and this one's really cool um it, not a high dollar book but still i really i love the one shots like that i can set them read them one and done I don't have to wait six months to get a whole story and I don't have to collect 50 books to get it. So the one shots are just cool for reading, but especially when you get a little bit of a key in here, it's the first appearance of Amunet Black. I wonder if that's supposed to be Amulet Black and Double Down, Murmur and Girder. So it's a couple first appearances in there too. So that's kind of cool. But anyway, um, six bucks last sold yeah last post sold six bucks and this one kind of surprised me i thought maybe the you know a lot of people when they can't afford the first full appearances they go after these cameos and you know like baby cable you know and that that book's kind of blown up but this one i think has room to grow so it's definitely going to go into my pc because i think it has room to grow but it uh, wolverine number 80 and the first uh, cameo, I guess, of X-23 as a test tube baby, uh, last sold on it, was only 5 bucks. But I, like I said, I think that one's got some potential for growth. And this Alien is number 2 of 6. This is actually the second printing. And uh, last sold on it was about 3 bucks. But another one that has potential to grow a little bit. And last but not least, um, the X-Men Gold, <clears throat> that non-politically correct, I guess, um, unapproved recalled variant here, um, last sold on it was 10 bucks. So, all in all, 45 in, 56 bucks back in, in value. And so, not only did I do better than break even, but I got, I didn't even, I never even counted how many books you get. One, how many books you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 12 books all together, but, uh, but there are 12 books that are all going into my PC. And like I said, that is rare to get. So, whenever, if you can, number one, if you can break even, at least, it's a win. Number two, if you get books you like, it's a win. Number three, if you come out ahead and get books you like, it's a win. And number four, if you come out ahead and you get books and they all go into your PC, that's a big win in my book. So, this is a huge win i will definitely definitely be back to silverback for uh some more because these are fantastic absolutely love this box probably one of the best boxes i've gotten in months and months and months so silverback my man congrats um put out a great product i will be hitting you up again for some more definitely so you know hit me up on instagram when you get some more and i'm definitely gonna buy another one because these are fantastic but anyway that being said road to 1k is still going we are at a pause here and um i think i've i'm debating i'm actually filming this the night of the mystery men episode where we had comic vantage on the show supposedly show hasn't happened yet so i don't know if he's pulling a fast one but it's funny but uh <coughs> any rate um i think the big reveal i'm going to do the big reveal for the one 1000 subscriber giveaway i did it on the show so if you watch the show you already know what it is if you haven't watched the show Go back and watch it because I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> not yet. But anyway. So help me grow the channel. I got I got I got plans for when that 1k hits. And no, it doesn't it does it doesn't necessarily mean all monetizing the stuff. 
because honestly, even if I monetize it, what am I going to get? Five bucks a week? It's not really doing much. But uh, it's more for the live streaming capabilities but uh, and the perks that come with it. So uh, anyway, so help me grow the channel. We're at nine, as of this video, we are just over 900. We are at 902 and uh, got a ways to go, 100 subscribers to go. We can do it. I know we can. But anyway, that's going to bring an end to this episode of number 122, I believe it will be. <laughs> I, I don't know how Rude keeps up with him because he holds on to him and opens them in order. Me, I open all my shit as soon as I get it and then just videotape it and store it. Anyway, enough rambling. That's going to do it for this episode. Remember before you go, like my shit, comment on my shit, subscribe to my shit. And turn that bell on so you don't miss my new shit. And we'll see you guys in the next shit. Peace.